coming through is Sean Cadman. Brought to ground, comes first Stephen O'Neill. Back outside, first Conor Gormley. Available over at the far side is Conor Gormley, and that looks like a good start. And it's over the bar. John McEntee looking for the long ball again, aimed at Ronan Clark. Great diagonal ball, and you can see that Joe Kernan wants to change the direction of the play. Every time a right half back gets it, sends it over to the left wing, and vice versa. McDonald lays it off. Aaron Kernan coming in as he did against Derry. Dangerous moment here, chance of a point, and it's over the bar. Aaron Kernan into the middle. Will block one. Tony McIntyre. Roland Clark. Ah, oh, that's a great effort. It's a superb kick. His first point in this Ulster final replay. Coming through from right corner back every time is Ryan McMiniman. In pass Ryan Mallon. Difficult angle from Mallon. Did he manage to squeeze it over the bar? He oh. did. He did very well. Kick out given away. Easily got it by Philip Jordan, who was fouled subsequently by Paul McGrain, but I have my doubts about that one, I have to be honest. Let's see this again. Let's see McGrain. Well, maybe the follow-through wasn't great. Here's O'Neill. 45 metres out. Aims at Ender McGinley. It's a terrible ball from McGinley, but he'll get there. Alan Kernan is marking him now. Brian Duhar. Gets by the challenge of Aidan O'Rourke. Shoves off the challenge with his left foot, sends it over the bar. That's a good score. Trying to get through, Brian McGuigan. Flicking it forward to Davy Hart. Goes back outside for his Martin Penrose. Looking at the available options. Coming through the middle, Ryan McMenamin. Can he score the cornerback? It's bending and it's bending over the bar. Ryan Mallon is in around the house. So too is Ronan Clark, but they played a short ball instead for his Oshin McConbo. John McEntee wasn't expecting the return pass that tight or that close. Ender McGinley is uh, deep inside his own half of the field. Referee says play on. None of the, the dramatics. They retain possession, but they seem to be a free. So, yellow card for the Armagh number nine. That's Paul McGray. Brian McGregor. Free again. Paul McGrain, remember, has already seen a yellow card, so he'd be well advised to stay away from it. It was Philip Jordan oh, that had the possession. That's a tackle with the closed fist. There's no question about that. Now, that's why the Termone player is injured. He went in really, really hard after him. He's given a yellow to a different player altogether. It's number 15, Brian Mallon, isn't it, yeah? Yes, absolutely, yeah. That's three Armagh players that have now been shown a yellow card. There's the statistical information for you. Nine wides now for Armagh, three for Tyrone. Gives you an idea of the dominance of Armagh, but not in terms of the scoreboard. They find themselves three down. Play changing over this side. Over towards Martin Penrose, who is now a corner forward. <laughs> His intention was to give it to Doha, but it didn't quite work. Stephen O'Neill. Scored from a difficult angle at the other side, and here it is from this side. Four points for Stephen O'Neill. Two from freeze, two from play. Down towards Ronan Clark, battling with Chris Law. Staying in just about. Here's Ronan Clark. Chris Law is still. Oh, that's wonderful play by the fullback. Brilliant. Oh, I love that piece of defending. No leaning on the back, just stayed with his eye on the ball and won it. Well, it's very disciplined defending. We're going to get an absolutely perfect view. Watch the hand in. That's the time to do it when the ball is out of control. When you're, it's in the middle of the solo or the hop in with the hand. He's doing very well. He had a great game the last day. Doing very well. There's the foul. Tackling with the boot. Sideline ball this time to Armagh. Temper is becoming a little bit frayed. 
crucial moments. 46 minutes gone in this replay. Well, I have no idea why he's talking to Brian McQuiggan. He was the innocent party. It was number 19, Kieran McKeever, came plowing into him. Looks like he's going to give each of them a yellow card. And he's given both of them a yellow yeah. card. Amazing. Here's Stephen O'Neill. Loving it in. Ball gathered by Penrose. Oh! It was an open goal. And Paul Hearty was off his line. Game set and match for Tyrone, and it was sent over the bar. Just watch this. Hearty, the goalkeeper, was off his line, and Penrose had all the time in the world to absolutely crack it home. Tyrone go back into the Armagh half of the field. Good running off the ball by Ryan McMenamin. Saw that McGinney was coming into challenge, laid it off quickly to McGuigan. In far as Ryan Mallon, and that's going to be a free end down at the other end. Well, a very silly foul by Francie Marty, no requirement for it. Well, Francie Bellio conceding the free here down at the canal end, and a chance for Stephen O'Neill to score his fifth point. Third from a free. And it's tucked over the bar. To Rowan building from the back. Connor Gormley runs into a cul-de-sac and it's very much bright orange in colour. Andy Mallon trying to pull Stephen O'Neill, who is pulling off McGinney. And it's all very sloppy and unnecessary because it's been played in a very manly and sporting manner the first half. But remember, these are great rivals, neighbours, every day of their lives. Well, Owen Mulligan and Peter Canavan, as you can see, are going to be brought in. This is the incident again with uh, Gormley going down. Now watch and it here now. There's the boost, there was a knee, now there's more guys coming in from the side. Here we are. Now it's very sloppy. And it's a cue for Peter Canavan to be introduced for Tyrone and the player that's going off is Martin Penrose. Brian McGuigan is also making way and the player that's replacing him is Owen Mulligan. Canavan goes in on McGinney and again it's very sloppy and things are getting out of control. And referee Mick Collins has to take control here because you couldn't anticipate that this was happening but it's a free-for-all and there's a lot of shoving and pushing and dragging, and Canavan has lost his jersey. And referee, the linesman, I should say, Mick McGrath from Donegal, is now involved in it and trying to ensure that Canavan concentrates on putting the jersey back on. But the referee has to assert his authority here. And I think you're going to see he's definitely going to be talking to Peter Canavan because Peter went in very hard when he saw the Armagh captain, Kieran McGinney, coming out with this. And you're dead on, Kevin. He's the first player that he's actually speaking to. And referee is sending him off. Oh, dear. A straight red for Peter Canavan. He's hardly on. 60 seconds. And another yellow. And that means a red as well. This Ulster final replay now down to 14 players. A talking point. This is looking good. Paul Hearty underneath it. Flicks it out, fires Andy Mallon from the Pierce Old Club in Armagh City. Combining with Enda McNulty. Mallon floored by a shoulder by Stephen O'Neill. And Andy Mallon is still on the ground. And it looks like Stephen O'Neill is receiving a yellow card. Yeah. And a red. Oh dear, oh dear. Red card? That seemed to be a red card. Yeah, and Stephen O'Neill has gone off. I didn't record on my notes no. here that Stephen O'Neill got a yellow not card. Right, right. And I'm almost certain that Mick Collins showed him a yellow card first. To me, it was a shoulder, I have and to say. And very close to being illegal. Now, I was a bit late, I'd give the free ball away, but certainly nothing more than that. It's 14 against 13. Clark dispossesses him, gets inside. It's two against one. He uses the fist and he sends it over the bar. Three points for Ronan Clark. 
one point between the teams. Ashin McConville, support play available with Aaron Kernan. This is Kernan coming through the middle. Can he do it again? Lays it off once more. Chance for McKeever, and it's over the bar. McIntyre trying to get by Ryan McMenamin, who's doing his customary job. Oh, and McMenamin oh. went down, and McIntyre after the foul. He's gone. And Ryan McMenamin is in trouble here with the referee, and correctly so. And this is a yellow card. I see and it here now. Referee blew his whistle just about there. Now look at McMenamin. Oh, just followed through. Oshin McConville kicks this over the bar. His third point from a fray, and Armagh are in front. Aaron Kernan looking for the crossfield option. It's there because Andrew McCann, who replaced Aidan O'Rourke, is over here. Coming through is Oshin McConville. Brian Duhur, not quite uh, fouling. Oshin scores his first point from play. His fourth in this Ulster final replay. And Armagh are now two points to the good. The referee blows the full-time whistle. And Armagh are the Ulster football champions. Paul McGrain and Kieran McGinney lift the Anglo-Celt.